there is literally a fish, or sorry, a, a bug that looks exactly like a stick. You understand? It looks exactly. When you zoom in on it, it's got the, the, to the, the nuanced texture of a branch, right? The nuance is insane. It's so, it looks exactly like a stick, okay? All right? And then they say, they say, you know, there's like a Punnett square, right? And, you know, there's like alleles, right? Is this like this, right? This is like blue, you know, it's like, this is, right? There's like different combinations of alleles and there's like a percented chance of getting the thing, right? But they say, they say that like, this is how genes are inherited, okay? But you can't, like, there's no such thing as like adapt, adaption, like a giraffe's neck, it's because of the alleles, right? And the genes they pass on. A giraffe can't stretch its neck, right? A giraffe cannot stretch its neck to get a longer neck, right? Genes are passed on from the parents to the offspring, right? And the giraffes with the longer necks survive. The giraffes with the longer necks survive, okay? And they pass on their longer neck genes to their children. So then you're telling me that like, if, if creatures, if animals, if species, cannot adapt themselves and change themselves. How does this stick bug look exactly like a stick? It makes no sense. So you're telling me that there were just a bunch of bugs and there was one millions of years ago that just looks exactly like that by chance, exactly like a stick and it passed its genes on? That don't make no sense to me. That doesn't make sense to me. That, that can't be. Same thing with like the moths and their things look exactly like the birch. There was, there was just, just a happens to be a single stick bug that looks exactly like this uh, branch. I refuse to believe it. There's no way it works like that. I can only believe it if it, the case is true that like creatures can adapt and change very slightly, even a tiny, Tiny percent of their DNA, they could change their physical appearance. And if they can change their appearance and it can be reflected in their genes, right? If you remember, it's like TC, TG, you know, there's like the different, the, the strands of the DNA, the strands of the DNA, it works like this. And there's different combinations. And I, I forget what it is. It's like A can only be with G and C can only be with T or vice versa or something. It doesn't make sense. I'm telling you. How does that make sense? There was just a million years ago, there was just a moth that looks exactly like a tree and it just so happened to, to be like that and it passed the genes on. It doesn't make sense. Or like the leaf bug, right? You're, you're telling me there's a bug that looks exactly like a fucking leaf, even down to the tiny little leafy veins. That has to be adaption. But they told me that like, there's no, you can't, you can't change your genes. You know, you can't physically adapt and change your DNA. It happens over millions of years. So you're telling me it, it can't, so it, it is possible. So I could like, like if I stretched my arms and I needed long arms to survive and I stretched my fucking arms, I could change my DNA by like a point, like a, m m a millionth, a billionth of my DNA could be changed and I could pass it down. Because that's the only way I could believe that evolution can occur like this. I get evolution in that, like, you know, I, I believe that, like, the DNA gets chosen and the, the ones with the best traits pass on their traits to, to their future generations. But we're talking about, like, oh, this animal is slightly bigger. And so it can make the species bigger in general. Or this creature has thick skin as opposed to um, one that doesn't survive, which has less thick skin. But, 
But once you get to the level of like, oh, well, this bug looks literally like a stick. This is where I'm like, but I don't understand that. You know, because when you're talking about traits, it's like taller, bigger, faster. But not like, oh, I literally look like a stick. How does that happen? So you're telling me that this is caused because originally they looked, they just looked like a normal bug, right? And you're telling me it's because there's just a random percent chance that a mutation occurs and the bug is like slightly skinnier. And then another mutation occurs and that skinny bug looks slightly brown. And then another random mutation occurs that makes the bug look slightly brown and also slightly textured. And that happens so many times that it ends up looking exactly like a stick. But for that to happen, like, I f how many years have things been a thing? I feel like if, if that was the case, it would have to be... A bajillion. A bajillion years. Like, 30 million years or something. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not joining no voice chat. They're going to speak poison into my brain. He's going to speak poison into my brain. Casting his hexes. Casting his hexes upon me. I know better. I know better. Rose River, thanks for the super chat. Leo Stone, thanks for the membership. Kayan, thanks for the super chat. DT, thanks for the membership. Melvin, thanks for the super chat. Mag.com, thanks for the super chat. Ali Song, thank you for the tier three. Okay, see, but I get that, Ali Song, but what I'm saying is, what I don't get is like, that would make me think, like, I would believe that like that makes sense to me i can imagine like a stick bug is like you know something like this and it's like brown right like that makes sense to me but you're talking about it literally is not discernible it looks exactly like a stick that's what's crazy to me. Like, I could get it. I could understand if it just happened to, you know, it was skinny and brown and kind of, but we're talking, it's segmented. It has, like, the texture of, like, wood. That's what's crazy to me. Just kidding. Get stick bugged, idiots. You think I believe that shit? Get stick bugged, dum-dums. You just got stick bugged. Thanks for super chat. Izukase, thanks for super chat. Copelia, thank you for the membership. Nyan, thank you for the membership. Rose River, thanks for the membership. Uh, thank you so much, Rose. Sijo, thank you. Kismet, thanks for super chat. Sijo, thanks for super chat. Mrs. Chibi, thank you for the five months. Okay, guys, that's going to be the end of my stream. Okay. Say hi to Axel for me. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. That was super cool. Thank you again, Chef. A uh, saf for uh, making this game. Get stick bugged, lol.